guys um, in today's video we're going to look at how to print out a TM and um, that's a technical manual and the TM what we're going to look out for is going to look out for the component and the basic issue that term what we call the BI so that we can actually compare it to the BUM now the BUM is the uh, legal document and we use the TM to supplement it so sometimes you want to see uh, how the item looks like let's say a screwdriver you want to see how it looks like uh, you use the TM to look at how it looks like to, so that it gives you a perfect picture of what you're looking for so the, the, the technical manual which is a TM becomes somehow like a supporting document just to back up the the bomb the bomb is the main deal for now so if you are trying to do inventory or layout or for a change of command or anything and you you need something to actually um help help with your visual aid then you will need the, the tm so let's get into it first of all first of all we, we will need a tm number i'm not saying it's the only the tm number or the publication number that you can use to get your um your tm you can use the name and you can use the link but I prefer using the TM uh, the TM number. So we're going to go to how we're going to look at a, a, a bomb. So that, that right there, we're going to write this TM number down. Then that's what I'm going to use to get my TM. So from here, I'll go to LIW uh, or ASIP. People, some people call it LIW, the old folks call it LIW, the new guys call it ASIP. So you click on the, the link, the first link, ASIP. Okay, then you, if you have an account, you log in. If you don't have an account, you register and get it, an account. And when you get an account, you actually request for these apps. So I requested for all these apps. So we use the ETM, as you can see, it's electronic technical manual. So that's what we, we need. So I'll click on it. Then you click on the drop down, then you hit enter site, set, and you close this. So as you can see, there are two fields, the search type and search criteria. So with the search type, you can see we have the lane name, publication number, EM number, and publication title text. You can use name and lane but i prefer the publication number so that is what i'm going to use and there's a reason why i prefer the publication number i'll show you the difference very soon so this is technically um, a bradley tm that i'm going to do but i will change it because it, it takes a long time to get about thousand and something pages so i'll take something it's a fighting vehicle, which is a Bradley. So I'll use a different TM number to make it simple so that we can actually see a TM. Then we work with it. So I'll go back, get a different NSN. That's an NSN name. Then, yeah, write down the TM number right there right beneath the serial number and a comment number now let's go back put in that 
to your number. So now I'm going to use a lane search for you guys to see how it looks like. So I'll copy a lane, put it in. And as you can see, we're going to have so many, so many TMs. And the reason is these are all TMs under a particular line number. So this line number has a multiple NSNs or NINs been under it. So this is going to show you all the TMs under that line number. But when you use a TM specifically, it gives you the exact TM you're looking for. You don't have to go through searching for the uh, material, the material number you're looking for. Like you don't need to go through and look for it. All you have to do is to put in the uh, the TM number, and it gives you the exact TM that you're looking for. That's why I like using the publication number. So you click on it, then you wait for some time. Since the uh, the TM is not that big, you're going to get um, a TM very soon. Sometimes you click on it, it's going to take a long time. Don't be worried. It's because the TM is huge and it's going to take a long time. So this is our TM, as you can see, technical manual, operators, unit maintenance manual. So this is what I do. I don't know how other people do it. So before I do anything, I use Control F, type in BI. Then on the component of N item, I click on it. Then this is it. So it starts from page two two four seven. So I Go down to the last page. Okay, so this is additional authorized item, which is the AAL. I don't need that, so I'll end right here. So I'll start from 247 to 254. That's the pages I need, and those are the pages for my BII and components of N items. The C C O E I. Then I print it. So basically, that is how you print out your TM. Um, as I said, if you want the exact TM you want, just go to your bum, write down your TM number, then just take it to LIW and put it in there. That's easier than always trying to use a lien on the name, right? The name also gives you a couple of um, TMs that you have to look to, figure out which one is the right one. So. I figured out why don't I use the, TM, uh, the publication number, which is quite easy, just straight to the point. All right, guys, so this is all for today on how to print out your TMs using your publication number. Yeah, and um, don't forget to share and subscribe to the other guys, other 92 Yankees. And probably, so this is not only 92 Yankees, the captain, the commander, uh, did I say the captain commander, the commander, the exos, the platoon leaders, anybody that wants to print out a TM can use this. So this is not specifically for 92 year in case alone. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video, which is going to be how to, I think, let me see, how to print out set kits and outfits. So instead of TMs, we're going to print, do how to print out um, something like um, toolkit, um, demolition um, devices, and demolition, demolition kit, how to print the uh, technical manual. It's not called technical manual, it's called um, SKOT, whatever. Yeah. Thank you, guys.